We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? It is co-creation at its best. We see you have dragged your physical bodies here. That's good. Turning thoughts to things, that's what you are about. So you know what you want, you know what's on your mind, what you want to contribute, what you want to understand. That's what goes on here. New combining, therefore new asking, therefore new answering. Every time. You're more than you know, but not because you were more because you were born, but because you are more since being in this physical body. You just become more and more and more. Everything you live causes you, even when something that you're observing really bothers you and you're pushing really hard against it, in knowing what you don't want, what you do want is known. It's equally known. The more you don't want it, the more you want this. And the more you push against whatever this unwanted is, the more you create whatever this wanted is. That's what the expansion of the universe is about. But what we're about together is that often humans, oh, doing just what you came to do, you become more and more and more and more and more, but you don't let yourself fully manifest the more that you have become because you are busy noticing where you currently stand. What is, it's lovely. You can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and talk about it and define it and pigeonhole it and catalog it and make monuments about it and write books about it and talk to everybody you know about it all day, every day. You sort of kind of do that. And as you do that, you hold yourself in the vibrational frequency of what is rather than in the vibrational frequency of what you have expanded to be. And so that's what we talk about all day, every day here is how to humanly blend with the non-physical part of who you are to allow yourself to let yourself be who you really are because someone's rude and you want them to be nicer. You've created that experience. But if you keep noticing how rude they are, you don't let yourself live what you ask for. Even with that rude one, that rude one cannot be less rude to you while you perceive them as rude. They might be nice to other people, but they will not be nice to you. It cannot be. You are vibrationally matching all day, every day, what you are offering vibrationally. And that's, we know, you can see and you can hear and you can smell and you can taste and you can touch because you are interpreting vibration in that way and you don't even know you're doing it. But when you are mad at someone, when you feel insecure, when you feel taken advantage of, when you feel like you are a victim, the law of attraction matches you up with stuff like that, which just makes you say, see, I told you, I told you, I knew that was how it was. Because what you believe is a practiced thought, a practiced thought is a practiced point of attraction point of attraction point of attraction point of attraction that's what we want you to hear about what is your point of attraction what's my point of attraction well a clue is how do you feel Henri? not doing so good right this minute it'll be all right though because dominantly your love your pure positive energy that's who you dominantly are but who are you letting yourself be in this moment and in this moment and in this moment there is this constant relationship between who you are presently in terms of what you're emitting vibrationally and therefore attracting vibrationally and who the larger part of you, your inner being, that soul source part of you, that God part of you, that part of you that was before you came into this body and still exists. And with everything you ask for, everything you live, that part of you that becomes more, that part of you, non-resistant in nature, pure love, love and understanding and appreciation never hatred never pushing against never feeling insecure never pushing against you never judging you never devaluing you never hating you never harming you never offering anything negative about you or about anyone 
But as you stand in an attitude justifying your madness or your meanness or your negative response, your knee jerk response to something unwanted and unwarranted, as you offer your knee jerk response of that, you cause a vibrational difference between you and who you really are. And you feel that difference. That's what negative emotion is. Every time you feel negative emotion, what you're feeling is the vibrational difference between who you are as this pure positive energy love force and who you're being right now in your confusion of who you are or who they are in your holding to the now reality that you don't want and more important in your disallowing the new reality that you have just given birth to you can't continue to become and become and become and become and become and become and you are all day every day and not let yourself go there without feeling the tug of war and it's not a tug of war that's caused by somebody else oh maybe the influence because they are rotten <laughs> but as you observe them and you concluded their wrongness and you push against them what you're really doing is pushing against you it's hard to hear for quite a while after Jerry and Esther began playing with us one or the other of them would argue with us Abraham I think you need more information about that one because it was just hard to conceive that someone that rotten from their perspective could be loved by source and the fact that they were loved by source and hated by Esther was what Esther's problem was they're not the problem Esther's misunderstanding of her relationship with who she really is was the problem if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.